Well, guys, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta will be back on our television screen in just two short days. And honey, I am ready for it because this preview is fire. But one couple that we failed to mention that I did not talk about that is in the trailer and is looking very serious is Jock and Kendra. Now, for those of you who may not recall, they got married in November 2021. So they haven't been quite married for three years. And also, Jock does have I'm going to say quite a few children by various women. Um, and you guys know that Kendra has no children. But in this trailer, honey, she is seeming like she probably has some regret for marrying Jock. I don't have any time for any gossip now. Eh? Yes. Well, here's the deal. Jock had all of his children before he married her. So that was no surprise. She definitely knew how many kids he had before they got married. Um, in fact, one of his youngest children he had just before they got married because it was stated that they had broke up and that they were, you know, going their separate way. And I guess he just fell on top of somebody and got them pregnant. I mean, I know that sounds crazy, but I just don't understand how people just get people pregnant unless that was somebody that they were messing around with the entire time. But at any rate, um, Kendra is expressing her disdain because she said, she didn't want to miss the window and stated that she didn't want to feel like her husband had children by everybody else and not her. Well, I don't want to be funny, but that is in fact the truth. He has children by everybody else. And when I say everybody, I mean everybody else but you. But you know, the interesting thing about it is you know, don't hold it against him because you knew he had children by everybody before you married him. You know, I think at some point, you know, when you grow up and you become an adult, you know, sometimes you just have to make adult decisions. And I never understood, I mean, why Kendra as an attorney, um, you know, why did she choose Jock? Is there not any attorneys that she could have dated? I don't know why big grown A women at their big age want to chase bad boys. Like, what do you expect to get from a bad boy? What do you expect to get from a man that has not one baby mama, not two, not three, not four? I mean, do I need to carry on? What do you expect? to get from him it's almost like are you dumb or are you dumb you went to college you graduated then you went to law school but you're telling me that you thought that you could get something more out of a man with too many baby mamas to count that just seems like a problem that you brought onto yourself. So I guess what she's saying is she doesn't want to feel like, you know, he has children by everybody but her. But in fact, that is the truth. And that is the truth. And that was the truth when she married him. So it's just like, you know, when you marry a person and you expect their reality to not be their reality, it's giving crazy. That's what it's giving because he does. So I'm just, I'm not understanding like what that means. Or maybe she's saying she wants to get pregnant because she said she doesn't want to miss the window. Um, but in all honesty, if I remember correctly, I thought she said that she didn't want children. And that was the reason why she married him because he had a lot for both of them. Because listen, if you marry a man with those many children, I mean, and you don't have any, I thought she didn't want any because I mean, it, 
it, it just is it's crazy. And I get it. She may want to have children, but I mean, he has enough for both of them. So does this mean that, you know, I don't know, maybe she'll get pregnant. Maybe she'll have a child. But there is actually more to the story because she also goes on to say, now this is all coming from the super trailer that was released. It's three minutes and 33 seconds long that if, I guess if he didn't want to do right by her, then he should just leave her alone. And you know, guys, I was a little bit stuck because I'm like, if a, if a person is not treating you right, do they got to leave you alone or shouldn't you leave them? <laughs> because I'm, listen, I'm not going to be waiting around for you to do me wrong and then just leave because I'm going to leave. So I don't know. I just always felt like Kendra was the type of person that really wanted all of the fame and to be on television. And I think she just settled for this because in turn, she got some of the things that she wanted. Um, but we will just have to see how this is going to play out. Frankly, I don't believe she would ever leave him because even in the situation where they have broken up, you know, and he got somebody pregnant, to me, that's not an excuse. It just goes to show how reckless you are with your PP because, you know, not wrapping it up and then, you know, you getting back with him. What if he'd have caught something, you know? So I don't know. It just seems like she will just forgive him no matter what he does. Um, and, and, and that's something else that just goes to her own self-esteem and really, you know, how she really feel about herself because um, I don't know that I would need to keep telling people to treat me right or leave me alone because you don't get the opportunity to leave me alone. I'm going to leave you alone. So y'all got to let me know what y'all think, you know, in reference to this. And if any of y'all remember her ever saying she didn't want kids because I thought she didn't want any children. I thought she, she made that very clear. Now people can change their minds. Yes, they can. Um, but Hey, I don't know. I don't know. But I thought that was her position before. So y'all got to let me know what y'all think. Make sure you are liking the video. Make sure you making sure you, oh boy, I can't talk. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. And also let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll catch y'all in the next video.